Joining me now with reaction to this and the broader issue of urban crime, trial attorney and political commentator Eric Guster and fellow at the Manhattan Institute, Heather McDonald. Guys, thanks so much for being here. Eric, let me start with you. Now, the, the allegation with Rom, at least one of them, is that the city withheld this damaging video, this controversial police shooting, until after a really tightly fought election. Do you think it's time for Rahm Emanuel to resign? It's, it's probably time for him to resign. This is why when you have a leader, a leader of a city who there is clearly corruption or clearly a misguided police force where they can hold a tape for over a year that no one knew existed, the police officer was not indicted, he was never charged until the tape was forcibly released, then that is a problem and it starts with the top and that's why we need strong leaders in cities like Chicago and every other city to really make a stand. So Heather, I, I Baltimore has had a unprecedented historic spike in the murder rate where young black, black men are dying at an atrocious rate as, as though those black lives don't matter. I can't say that those black lives that matter. That is not correct. Well, but of course part of they the matter, problem, but the left doesn't part, seem to care about them. It's the, the, it's the, the police left cases. Does. The left you, does care about them. And, why don't we and, hear about it? Why isn't there a movement to there, stop those There are those plenty murders? of movements. For example, I've talked about on this show as well. My fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha, is out doing great programs. We have to get back to jobs in the communities. When you have urban blight, when you have people who don't have jobs, then those bad things are going to, they're going to grow and fester. That's where we have to get back to putting jobs back into the inner cities, back into uh, our economy, and in, to, in order to grow the economy and bring the educational system back up to par for those people to make it fair across the board, where you but, don't have to be rich to get a great education. But Baltimore's you have to effort to demonize the police is leading to police backing off and people are dying as a result. The, Eric, no, I the, think another the, thing that's very striking about these cities where we've had these high profile cases and you have corrupt city officials, Chicago, Baltimore, they have been run almost uniformly by Democrats for decades. So doesn't the Democratic Party bear overwhelming responsibility for the let, state of these cities? First, let me reply to something that she just mentioned. The, it is not about um, demonizing police. It's about showing what bad police do. And that's what the movement is about. It's about showing and improving what these bad police are doing and bringing light to that to get those bad apples out. Are there, are there different cases where people have been literally executed by police? That is a problem. That's why people don't trust police. Just like the Chicago case that we just mentioned. This was not brought to light for over a year. And the city administration knew about this. This guy was shot over a dozen times and he was not indicted. Very quickly, the point about Democrats, that is a problem. The point about Democrats running those cities that you're so upset about? It's not just about a Democratic Party or a Republican Party. It's about quality leadership, and we have to get quality leaders in those positions. Right, but I mean, these are Democratic cities, and you haven't had quality leadership in decades. But, and Rich, I would say it's, it's whitewashing the Black Lives Matter movement to say that it's not demonizing the police across the board. The police are facing extraordinarily hostile, tense situations in inner cities now. Every time they go to make an arrest, they are cursed at, jeered at. That is having a real effect that's on police every, morale, that's not, that's and they're true. backing off. That's that's not true. We got to leave it there.